So I just went for lunch at a place called the Original Jerk, <clears throat> right here in Mississauga, the College Way and Ridgeway. They're located specifically, I'll tell you in one second here. They're located at 3355 College Way at College Way and Ridgeway in Mississauga, Ontario. They serve West Indian food. I just had a large uh, curry chicken with rice and peas. And I also had a spicy beef patty. And I had a gray uh, pineapple drink. Delicious lunch. In my opinion, this is the best West Indian food that I've ever tried at any restaurant in Canada. <clears throat> it's the only place where I've ever had be better tasting West Indian food, at least restaurant wise, is in Jamaica. So go there, give them a try. They, have, they give you generous portions, great tasting food for a very reasonable price. For what I had, large curry chicken with rice and peas, lots of gravy, of course, a spicy beef patty, and um, a graced pineapple uh, pop, Jamaican pop. It comes up to $14 and change, including tax, like $14.64, somewhere thereabouts. Unfortunately, that's not the... <coughs> main topic of my video today though basically the main topic of my video is just basically I've got a question to post to everyone how much is life worth to you how much is your life worth how much is other people's lives worth I know you can't find anything better to take a picture of So before I got rudely interrupted, uh, basically, you just get some jerks that don't know how to mind their own business. Anyways, um, yeah, what is life worth to you? What's your life worth? What's other people's lives worth? Right now, unfortunately, across the street from my uh, lunch place where I came for lunch, a great lunch today, there was a murder either sometime late last night or sometime early this morning. It's a police command post and a whole bunch of police set up. <coughs> and I read about it on 680 News. I don't know what the motive is as yet, but um, quite often when you hear about murders, quite often it's, well, quite frankly, over bullshit. Murders over love triangles. You know, Buddy was fooling around with Buddy's girlfriend or wife. Sometimes it's crime related. Like I was overhearing a conversation um, when I was sitting down eating lunch that there was quite a sex trade going on in this building involving pimps and human trafficking and that kind of thing. <clears throat> so they speculate that it might be that, possibly. A lot of times it's over drugs. A lot of times over other aspects of crime. And sometimes it's just over something benign, as benign as road rage. Like, to give you an example of how life seems to mean nothing to some people, there was one time, some time back, I was walking through the Bathurst, um subway station in Toronto I saw someone there that looked very much like very familiar to me very much like someone I know so I looked at him but he turns around to me and says what are you looking at in an angry voice and as he said that he put his hand in his pocket it's like what were you gonna kill me for uh, looking at you the wrong way 
Like, I don't know. He didn't pull anything out. So for all I know, in all fairness to him, I don't know what he had in his pocket. He might have had nothing in his pocket. It might have just been a gut reaction. But, I mean, there have been cases where people have been killed for something as stupid as looking at someone the wrong way. Or cutting them off on the highway. Or flipping them the finger. People just need to calm down and um, take a deep breath. Think about what's important to them in life. Yes, it sucks. If you get cut off by someone while you're driving and then you blow your horn at them and they even have the nerve to flip you off, give you the finger. Sure, it's absolutely irritating. It's happened to me before and it pisses me off too. But is it really worth it to kill someone over that? Here in Canada, if you you get convicted of first-degree murder, it's an automatic life sentence with no chance of of parole for a minimum of 25 years. Is it really worth spending 25 years to life over bullshit? I personally don't think it is. And as for people that are involved in crime and all that, yeah, sure. There are some people that can make lots of money living a life of crime. But is it really worth the risk? Like, if you do wrong by someone and you're, uh, and you're dealing with criminals, criminals are not going to call the police on you to tell them that you did them wrong. They're going to take care of it themselves. If that means causing you grievous bodily harm and putting you in the hospital or killing you, then sometimes that's what it ends up. That's the end result of it. Like, I'm fortunate left enough to live here in Canada. And yes, compared to some other countries around the world, our crime rate is quite a bit lower than the crime rate of many other countries. Like our murder rate here in Canada, for example, usually fluctuates anywhere between five and 700 murders a year for the entire country of Canada with a population of 36 million people. Whereas I know there's some American cities like Chicago. I've heard of cases of Chicago getting having like six or 700 murders a year, approximately. I could be off on those numbers, but I've heard pretty much around those numbers at times that Chicago has had six or 700 murders a year. <clears throat> By contrast, Canada's two largest cities, Toronto and Montreal. Toronto is slightly bigger than Chicago. Toronto generally averages about 60 to 80 murders a year. As a matter of fact, no Canadian city has ever experienced a triple-digit murder rate. The highest murder rate that I've ever read about any, any one Canadian city experiencing sometime back in the 1990s. Montreal, I think, had about 98 murders that one year back in the 90s. I can't remember exactly what year it was. But um, a lot of that was due to biker activity, if I'm not mistaken. If I remember correctly, I think a lot of that um, was biker act- a biker war going on between the Hells Angels and the Rock Machine. But nevertheless, whether it be 98 murders in a year or 60 to 80 murders a year or one murder a year, one murder is one murder too many. And people just need to think to themselves, you know, look at all the harm that you're bringing. Look at all the suffering you're bringing to that person and you're bringing to that person's family if you decide to knock them off. You know, what about that person's parents, their siblings, their spouse, their children, their grandparents, everyone else who loves and cares about them? And what about the suffering you'll bring to yourself? Do you really want to spend a whole bunch of years, possibly the rest of your life, sitting in a jail cell just for a a moment of rage? No. 
I don't think it's worth it. Just something to think about.